The Marsh Boys Podcast is brought to you by Papa Earl's, Cajun seasoning at its best. Use it on chicken, beef, fish, vegetables, Bloody Marys, and everything in between. Check out their fish fry for that perfect golden crispiness and that great Cajun flavor. And Top Down Decoys, the most affordable silhouette decoy on the market. Their horizontal and vertical styles are both a perfect fit for adding numbers to your snow, spec, and Canada spread. You can check out all of our great sponsors through the link in any of our social media bios. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy today's episode. Hey, take it! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Morris Boys podcast. Sorry we are a few days behind, but we figured since it was hunting's favorite holiday coming up, we would just wait and release one on Thanksgiving. We decorated the turkey today. We we, we did? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, as everybody knows, the three best things about f- Thanksgiving are family, hunting, and... Beer. Making stupid bets on football. That's what we're doing today. <laughs> so, to kick off this episode, we are going to be telling you what stupid parlays we are going to be setting. And just, just to give you an idea of stupid, um, I I won like 20 bucks on tennis yesterday, live betting it during mm-hmm. work. And last week, on a 19-leg parlay, I hit 17 of them, and the ones that murdered me were the Cowboys and the Titans. Yep, Cowboys beat the Commanders, Titans beat the Texans. Both, Insane. In the, like, they lost at the same yeah. time, basically. And then they just didn't care and missed a field goal to tie it up. You know, it just didn't matter. Brian, I think this is one of the bubbles. Chew it. Can you pop Chew that? It. Come on, I'm pop it. I'm not doing it. You do it. You bought it. All right, we'll do it after. Let's do our bets. We got 12 minutes. And yes, I'll put the chemicals in my mouth. All right. <clears throat> Tulane beats Memphis. Are you you're doing it again? What? You got- oh. <clears throat> All right. Well, that was just me starting. Tulane beats Memphis. <laughs> There's another one. All right, hold on. Let's do it. Ooh. Ooh. Those are pretty good. All right, so let's let's start with college football. There's more than twenty in here. I have five dollars per crazy parlay. So me personally, I would stay away from Memphis and Tulane, but I could see why you'd want to bet second versus fourth. They're both nine and two. Yes, but they're both ace. Memphis is on a hot streak right now. All right, you said stupid bets, Memphis. (laughs) I would. Go with Tulane, but I'm saying... Memphis. Okay, so I'm going to go Tulane. And then the next game I would bet on was be Ball State and Ohio. Obviously, we're going to go Ohio. Oh, yeah, obviously. Minnesota and Wisconsin, I would I don't know, but the Cowboys score last time. That's NFL. I know, but I mean, they had had a messed up record. That's the NFL. Why did you skip over Miami and Bowling Green? Uh, you you pick one, I pick the other. They're both pretty close. They both have the same record. All right, I'll go Bowling Green. Why? Because you got Tulane? Yeah. Ugh. And we're both going Ohio. We're both going Ohio because if Ball State wins, that'd be nuts. Minnesota, Wisconsin, nope. even. We're just skipping over that one. We're skipping over that one? You Just take one. You take one, I'll take the other. No, because... Rock, paper, scissors. No, we're not doing Flip that. A coin. We're going to go down to Oklahoma State and Colorado. I'm going to take Colorado. I think that's an easy bet. You want me to take Oklahoma? No, take, take you Oklahoma. take Colorado. Okay. We're both taking Colorado. And then... Maybe East Carolina. We're not going to touch that game. We're going to skip down to Oregon State versus Boise State. Boise. We're going to go Boise. Mississippi State, Ole Miss, Ole Miss, that's a pretty clear winner. Liberty versus Sam Houston. I like Liberty a lot better. Sam Houston just I'm gonna sucks. Skip that one. Okay, I'm going to go Liberty on that. Colorado State, Utah State. Colorado State should whoop up on Utah State. I think that line's a little soft. They have too many wives to deal with in Utah. You're right. Uh, Texas State, South Alabama, I would just that. skip that yeah. over that. 
Stanford, I would San Jose. S- I would skip over San Jose State and Stanford. Georgia wins. Against Georgia, Georgia Tech. beats Georgia Tech. You ever notice that the named schools and then the named Tech schools, the named schools always whoop up on the named Tech schools? Yeah. Um, Iowa, Nebraska, yeah. I would leave that alone. That's a rivalry game. Well, I mean, a lot of these are rivalry games. UCF and Utah. Are I'm okay. taking UCF. Really? Yes. I, I like that line a lot at minus 380. They're tied up. Records, yes. But so along with Ryan's kind of learning the whole betting. Ryan deal. doesn't sports, but Ryan yeah. loves gambling. Yes, and I explained them. So especially with college football, let's go up if I could see one. So the reason we're not touching Stan- Stanford and San Jose State. Stanford is three and eight, sixteenth in the ACC. San Jose State is six and five, seventh in the uh, Mountain West Conference. Stanford is still an ACC team and has a lot of good players. That's why I wouldn't touch that. Skip and Duke. strength of schedule. Yeah, I would skip Duke and skip Wake Forest. West Virginia. Tennessee, Vanderbilt. Tennessee. Some people call Vandy a trap school, and they're not doing too bad this year. But 12th in the SEC versus 3rd in the SEC. I know records. Rivalry games. got to remember that. North Texas and Temple. North Texas. Yeah. I'm going to take North Texas. Connecticut, Massachusetts. Hold on, real quick. What's the line on Georgia? No. Okay, so I'm going to change up a bet here real quick. And back to Tennessee and Vanderbilt. I'm going to take Tennessee minus 11 on that. Louisiana, Monroe. Also, I would not touch South Carolina, Clemson. That, uh, I skipped over that's that. a crap shoot. Yeah. Uh, Louisiana should yeah. should be. Um, Louisville and Kentucky. I'm not touching any military ones because I learned my <laughs> lesson with that. I'm going to. I'm taking Army over the University of Texas San Antonio. And then I'm going to take Illinois over Northwestern. Obviously. And then you oh. should pick Michigan on this one. Nope. You should pick Michigan on this nope. one. Nope. You should pick Michigan on this one. You do it. I'm not doing it. Nope. Michigan sucks this year. Uh, Kansas some... and Baylor, wouldn't touch. Eastern Western Michigan, wouldn't touch. Hold on. Just for shits and giggles, do you think it's going to be under 42.5 points for Ohio State? Uh... They're either going to run away with it or they're not. If you're going to do that... I would move down to can or uh, to Eastern Michigan, Western Michigan, and bet the under on that. The over under is fifty six and a half. If you're going to do something like that, I would take the under. South Florida beats Rice. Mm, I'm not touching that. Really, I'm not going to touch Middle Tennessee and Florida International. Troy's got crazy high. Odds. I will take Troy over Southern Mississippi. Um, I'm not going to touch Old Dominion, Arkansas State. SMU, California, SMU wins. Where's that at? Did I skip over that? It's right below Arkansas, Mississippi. No. Wait, where are you at? Arkansas, Mississippi. You skipped me. Oh, yeah, I'm way down. (laughs) I'm going to take Boston College over Pitt. Um, Yes, SMU is going. one more bet. I'm I'm going to take... uh, I'm going to take the points on SMU, minus 13 and a half. I'm going to take Penn State over Maryland as my 20th. What are we at, 19? We're doing 20. Um, $5 wins you $1,900. Place that, John. Yeah, Penn State. And I'm trying to see. I'm going to take Notre Dame over USC. We're going to up mine a little bit. We're going to I take Alabama minutes. over Auburn. I'm going to do a super safe one with five minutes left. Um, Washington State over Wyoming. <clears throat> Florida over Florida State. Indiana over Purdue. Texas over A and M. And Oregon over Washington. So that's a twenty-seven leg parlay. You can't do twenty-seven legs. That sucks because a five-dollar bet would win me three grand. That's okay. why I said you have to stop at 20. Okay, so the ones I'm going to take off are... I'm going to take the point lines off. I'm going to take SMU off. 
Uh, I'm going to take Boston. Boston call it. Ooh, Boston. Boston. Boston College off and replace that with SMU. I'm going to take. I'm going to. I'm going to take Troy off. Um. I'm going to take Ohio State off because as much as a guaranteed winner at the odds. Um, and I still have four more to take off. I like, let's see, we'll go Georgia. We'll take Georgia off, Ole Miss off, and Boise State. Oh, wait. Oh, Boise and Boise. Ohio over Ball State. Okay. So with mine, $5 wins me $834. With my second one. Of all super safe bets, five dollars wins me ninety eight bucks. And here's the best part: we're in New Jersey. We can cash this sucker out. All right, I have five dollars left. Time to do something crazy. I only got three minutes to pick. All right, so we'll rush over to NFL real quick. As soon as I get this bait, bet place. Touching the NFL, I'm doing all the two hundreds in college football. Does college play today? So, my turkey day picks. We have the, actually, the Bears and Lions are in play right now. Uh, Bears, Lions, Giants, Cowboys, Dolphins, Packers. I'm going to go with the Lions, the Cowboys, and the Packers. That's what I'm going to do. Well, that's it for that conversation. Sorry, I'm focusing. I don't have much time left. There's 50. You could live bet. Nah, I'm trying not to do that. Why? Look. All you do is bet, but you can see they're playing right now. Plus, my phone gets all laggy <laughs> when that's going on. My Oh, so I have an NFL bet, too. My NFL bet, to betting <laughs> 70 cents to win $39.45. Are the Lions over the Bears, Cowboys over the Giants, Packers over the Dolphins, Chiefs over the Raiders, Steelers over the Bengals, Vikings over the Cardinals, Seahawks over the Jets, Commanders over the Titans, Bucks over the Panthers, and Broncos over the Browns. Um, another parlay I have is the Lions, Cowboys, Chiefs, and... I have a same game parlay. I have the Lions money line, the Lions minus three and a half, Keenan Allen under 49 and a half receiving yards, and Caleb Williams under uh, 224 and a half passing yards, which is looking pretty good because he only has six passing yards right now. <laughs> so those are my bets for the week. We're on. And if I win everything, that's 24, 59. 40, um, 1343, uh, $4.75. So a, a pretty good chunk of change. My total bet today was if I win everything, I win $3,500 if I win everything. I have a crazy, it's not really crazy, but I have a Lions parlay going, specifically on the Lions right now. <clears throat> Over 41 and a half points, the Lions win. Uh, the game spreads minus three and a half for the Lions. Uh, DJ Moore gets over 49 and a half yards. Uh, C.A. Williams gets over 224 passing yards. Uh, the Lions are over 30 points. The Bears are under... 18 and a half points, and both points total are under 24 and a half points in the first half. Hold on, say that again. I spaced out. I was actually texting Riley. Shout out, Riley. We'll see you uh, Saturday, well, tomorrow. I said over 41 and a half points on yep. the game. The Lions win. The, okay. The game spread is negative three and a half, minus three and a half. Okay. Yes. Uh, DJ Moore gets over 49 and a half receiving yards. I wouldn't have taken that. C.A. Williams gets over 224. I and would a half. not have taken that. That is, you're going to lose. Nope, that's where you lost. 
I would I would never have taken that bet. I would I would have taken the under if it was at 170 passing yards, 170 yards passing. Lions are over 30 points or 29 and a half points. That's eh, Bears I mean, are under 18 and a half points. Yes, that's a good bet. And the first half total is under 24 and a half points. Absolutely, could happen. Yeah, are the only it's not because Caleb Williams is not going to do get over two hundred yards passing. So remember now it's Thanksgiving. Yeah, and the Bears still suck. <laughs> All right, probably not going to walk away with anything, but twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is twenty bucks. So what all total did you bet today? Oh, I have a lot. It's going to take a while to go through everything. I have forty total technically. Forty dollars right total. I already lost two. Oh, okay. So forty dollars total bets, mm-hmm. and you're projected to if you win. If I win, every thirty five hundred dollars over thirty five hundred dollars. But the odds of that happening are really low. Last week was the closest I came to my crazy gambling addiction winning, and that was almost five dollars and seventeen hundred dollars. But fuck the Cowboys. Yeah, that was pretty nutty. All right. So I guess the second thing you wanted to accomplish on today's podcast is I have to break this in my mouth. Oh yeah, go ahead and do that. We haven't done a Ryan Stupid Thing segment in a long time. The thing that bothers me is it's plastic, and I don't really want to eat plastic. You don't have to eat it. It's going to crumble. Yeah, Give me something to spit in. Hold on. Let me finish this beer. Yeah, I think the last time you had something stupid was like episode four when you drank the hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. We did the one chip challenge in this room. No, we did it down in the kitchen. No, I did. me and Noah did it in here during a podcast. No. I did anyway. Oh, yeah, because he was like... <laughs> he was standing in that corner. He was going to punch a wall. Standing over there. No, he was standing over here. I'll have to find a video. There's a video of that somewhere. That is hilarious. I'm choking down three-week-old Miller Lite. Please bear with me. Also, a big update. Not that anybody cares. I'm pretty proud of myself. I am two weeks vape-free. I have not touched a vape. In two weeks. Don't confuse that with no nicotine. If there was no nicotine, I'd be dead. This house would be burned down in there. Oh yeah, USA. no, no, no. Believe me, I am not. I'm. I have like eight packs of pouches at all times, just ready to go. Which is nuts. <laughs> all right. We're gonna do, finally do it. I needed something to spit in. But I will say, I feel like I breathe a lot better. Yeah, it's berry citrus. It's really good. <laughs> Don't chill it. What? Ryan's eyes just lit up. It's snake oil. There was barely any flavor in that. Really? So the pouch itself tastes good. Yes. Hold on. There was barely any flavor in that. There's like a little bit. So we have the uh, Lucy Breakers pouches. And there's like a little menthol ball or whatever. There was, like, barely any, and they say you're supposed to break it to release the flavor. I w- no, well, hold on. I wonder if that is just to release, like, a menthol flavor. That's all I got out of that was mint. Because if you put one of these mango ones in, it tastes like mango. Already, yeah. So, uh, that's probably what it is. They're probably little menthol balls that enhance but the there scent. ain't much in it. There doesn't need to be much. Yeah, I guess that's fair. Anyway, that was a disappointment. <laughs> so, uh, so, if you're still sticking around after... Almost 20 minutes of just rambling on. That was 20 minutes? Uh, 18, yeah. Wow. <laughs> we do want to say thank you. Um, Thanksgiving is our favorite holiday of the year. Well, my favorite. As far as hunting goes, it is our favorite. Um, this is our... Was this our second Thanksgiving? Hmm? No, this would be our third Thanksgiving doing a podcast, right? The first year, 2022, 23, 24. Mm-hmm. Third this year. Is, this is our third Thanksgiving recording an episode. Um, probably the third year saying some hokey shit, but mm-hmm. as usual, we're thankful for you guys that <sighs> stick around with us. Ryan, we, you're making them blush. We know we're idiots. We're stupid. We ramble, but I mean, honestly, this has been a lot of fun, and yeah. it's the most consistent thing I've ever done in my life besides breathe. <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I don't know. We enjoy it. It's it's come a long way since we started, and I know I th- I'm pretty sure we said that last year. But every year, like it doesn't seem like things are moving at all. 
And then now thinking back to last Thanksgiving yeah. and the Thanksgiving before, like it has come a long way. But um, one thing, so we were supposed to go goose hunting this morning, and I am not faulting anybody that told me that they were going to come goose hunting and then bailed last minute because that rain was bad. Mm-hmm. It downpoured this morning. Me and Ryan were sitting in the field about to unload decoys. And, I mean, we were both thinking it, and I just said, screw it. We were laying in a puddle. We were checking the radar. It just wasn't going to stop. No. So. My radar said one thing. His said another. And I wasn't chancing it. And I'm glad we didn't because the rain, the rain did lighten up around 7, 730. But it started raining hard again around 9. And, and I went by where these birds were roosting at. They hadn't moved. That's that's what I was worried about is, like, a light rain, yeah, they'll move around. But, mm-hmm. like, a heavy rain, they probably don't really want to get up all that much. Yeah, these, them birds, they, they didn't move this morning. Mm-hmm. A lot and, of them were feeding in that guy's yard again. And we're still, half of them are going to be residents where we were going to hunt anyway. So they already know the deal. They don't have to move if they don't want to. Yeah, they're fat and happy. Fat and happy. We didn't squirrel hunt because Ryan went home and took a nap. Mm-hmm. Uh, after he was the one who was like, we got to go squirrel hunt, we got to go squirrel hunt, we got to go squirrel hunt. We're, we're getting out there this weekend. I have 20 gauge shells and an itchy finger. So um, I went and checked. Tra- we've been tra- we've been trapping a new property. Mm-hmm. The Well, Ryan trapped Saturday, Sunday. I trapped for about a little over a week now. I've been trapping. I've caught three coons out of that property, just kind of figuring out stuff. Um, and Ryan, you caught one. One, yep, and uh, it looked like the fatter of the two, which yeah. is insane that it ended up not being. I had a chunky boy. Yeah, they're was, eating out of a corn bin. <laughs> yeah, so sp- speaking of fat and happy, they are very fat and happy. We got him, I'm like, this dude's heavy, and then Brian pulls his out, and his looks a little smaller, but it might have been longer. Turns out his weighed, what, approximately three or four pounds more than mine did. Yours was 22. Mine was 21 or mine was 21 pounds, 6 ounces. Or, sorry, 20 pounds, 6 ounces. Ryan's was eight or 17, 8. 17 mm-hmm. pounds, 8 ounces. They were two pretty big boys. If we were going to, and we were talking about this, if we we're going to try raccoon, it's probably going to be from here. Now, I've been talking to people that have tried raccoon, and they said it's a stringy, disgusting mess. Well, it's probably very greasy. You probably got to... Cook it in a crock pot, something like that. That's what I was thinking. It's making me a little queasy thinking about it, but I will try it once. I'm, I hope it's good. I hope it is too. Then we tapped a food source nobody else has. But Yeah. There's not too many people I know eating raccoon. <laughs> yeah. Either that or we'll just get rabies and that'll be a swift end to this one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would. Um, But no, we got a very, very exciting week. Ooh, excuse me, weekend ahead. Hunting tomorrow, hunting Saturday. Chasing some scoter tomorrow. Riley and the Gator Boys are going to join us Saturday for a Brant hunt slash diver hunt. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I Just, really wish we could have got out today, but no, nobody wants to lay in a puddle. Especially with the with the blinds we use. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, you will, you will be in the puddle. No, the nice thing is our bl- they're waterproof. Or not, not the blankets. Not the blankets. <laughs> That's the part that covers you. Well, all right. Well, Ryan, if you're fine with it being a little shorter episode, figured we'd just get on here and release one for Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want to do another one? Monday. Monday. Yeah. You yeah. Wait we'll, till Monday. Yeah, we'll be we'll be back to our reg- regular scheduled program Monday. Uh, work sucked this week. We were checking traps. Just put a lot of our plates in a little bit of time. So. Um. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Uh, We will talk to you in a few days. Mm -hmm. See ya.